if you're swapping out this transducer, which is the little sensor that goes on the on the wellhead here that tells me or tells the controller what the pressure is at the well. So without the transducer, your well would just run all the time and would eventually blow up the pipes. The problem is because we're pushing water all the way up this mountain, we need a stronger transducer, one rated at a higher PSI. So we have a 300 PSI. The reason why we need a transducer is rated at 300 PSI instead of 100 is the pressure it takes just to maintain zero at the house. All of the weight of the water pushing down hundreds of yards from where the house is down here where the well is, is just a static pressure to maintain zero at the house. Then on top of that, you need to get up to 60 PSI to maintain a normal water pressure in the house. So we have to by far exceed the normal pressure tolerance as if you are on level ground. Well, the guest has actually already checked in, but they're in the national park. They told me they wouldn't be back till this evening. I was gonna wait until they checked out, but this is actually a good opportunity to swap this out and let them get better water pressure. Right now, what you're seeing is all the pressure coming from the line. So this is turned off. I have the transducer out, so it's saying zero PSI, but we're letting all of that water that's coming down from the pressure, just gravity fed, coming down the mountain right now, blasting out of the top of the hole where the transducer goes on the top of the pressure tank that's in the wellhead. So once this dies down, I put in 300 PSI transducer, reset the parameters, close everything up, turn it on. Maggie's up at the house. She'll be able to tell me if we've got good, uh, strong pressure up there. We'll be all dialed in. So there we are sleeping at 137 PSI. It's perfect.